when renowned and experienced weapon and software companies collaborate to create anything, best believe that the capability of such creation will be unrivaled. That being said, two of the best weapon companies in the world have joined forces and resources, combining their experience and expertise and converting it into something groundbreaking and revolutionary. What companies are involved in this collaboration? What exactly are they working on? Join us as we discuss the intriguing details of the collaboration between Palantir and Northrop Grumman as they team up to create the Titan system for the United States Army. What exactly is the Titan system? This is groundbreaking news in the defense industry. Palantir Technologies and Northrop Grumman have secured a major contract with the U.S. Army for the development of the Titan system. This partnership will bring cutting-edge technology to the forefront of military operations, enhancing capabilities and efficiency like never before. The Titan system, designed to provide real-time information and intelligence to troops on the ground, will revolutionize the way missions are conducted and ultimately improve the safety and security of our armed forces. Palantir's expertise in data analysis and Northrop Grumman's innovative solutions make them the perfect team to tackle this critical project. Together, they will ensure that our military has the tools they need to stay ahead of the curve in an ever-changing world. This contract win solidifies Palantir and Northrop Grumman's commitment to national defense and showcases the power of collaboration in developing top-notch technology to those who serve our country. A company consistently making waves in weapon creation. While there are several talented companies in the game of producing advanced weaponry, Northrop Grumman Corporation has become a center of attraction due to its increasing advanced innovation. It is a renowned American company that develops aircraft and weapons for the military. It has about 95,000 workers and makes more than $30 billion every year. It's one of the biggest military technology companies in the world. This company was ranked at the 101st position on the Fortune 500 list of the biggest American companies. Northrop Grumman and its partners have won the Collier Trophy nine times, including for their work on the James Webb Space Telescope. Their biggest achievement is the development of the B-21 Raider, a new long-range bomber that can stay hidden and drop bombs. This bomber was used to replace the B-2 Spirit. These bombers are known to be the most efficient and powerful in the world, and this only emphasizes the fact that these folks are incredibly good at what they do. They worked on sophisticated projects like the James Webb Space Telescope, which was launched in 2021, and also made rocket boosters for NASA's Space Launch System. This company is the only one bidding on the Air Force's program to build a new long-range missile. Not limited to bombers and telescopes alone, Northrop Grumman also ventured into the development of radar systems for air defense and aerospace management, like AMAS, as well as surveillance systems for the battlefield, such as ARL. For tactical aircraft, they created sensors like the ANAPG-68 radar and the ANAPG-80 ASA radar. They are responsible for upgrades like the ANAPG-83 ASA radar for the F-16 Fighting Falcon, the ANAPG-77 ASA radar for the F-22 Raptor, and the ANAPG-81 ASA radar for the F-35 Lightning II. They also make the ANAAQ-37 Electro-Optical Distributed Aperture System, or the F-35, and the APQ-164 Passive Electronically Scanned Array Radar, for the B-1 Lancer. Mission Systems is responsible for producing and maintaining the AWACS Aerial Surveillance System for various countries. They're leading the Air Force's Multi-Platform Radar Technology Insertion Program, worth $2 billion. Northrop Grumman also works on the U.S. Ballistic Missile Program, integrates command, control, and intelligence systems, and offers technical and management services to government and military clients with a focus on cybersecurity. Interestingly, the company has a history that goes way back, starting in the early 1900s, when Leroy Grumman founded the Grumman Corporation on Long Island in New York. Renowned for their focus on aircraft engineering, 
In 1939, they later expanded and moved to a bigger facility in Bethpage, also located on Long Island. During the Second World War, the company thrived and became known for building and developing naval aircraft. After the war, they diversified into not only making aluminum canoes, but also other products like lethal ballistic missiles, radar, and even the Apollo lunar module. Now that's pretty cool. On the other hand, in 1939, the Northrop Corporation was founded by Jack Northrop in California and also played a significant role in weapon development. After relocating to the state of Delaware in 1985, this company underwent a series of acquisitions after the Cold War, including Grumman Aerospace, Westinghouse, and TRW Incorporation. In 2018, Northrop Grumman acquired Orbital ATK, which was later renamed and referred to as Northrop Grumman Innovation Systems. Now this company has become one of the major players in the defense industry, and not just in the United States, but also worldwide. Palantir Technology and its revolutionary achievement. Palantir Technologies Incorporated is an American company that makes software for analyzing very large data. Its headquarters is located in Denver, Colorado. Palantir was started by Peter Thiel, Nathan Gettings, Joe Lonsdale, Stephen Cohen and Alex Karp in 2003. One intriguing fact is that the company's name was inspired by the popular novel series The Lord of the Rings, where the Palantiri were magical crystal balls used for communication and seeing events in distant places. We here at Valkyrie Defense think that this is a perfect fitting name for the tech company. The company is famous for its three main projects, Palantir Gotham, Palantir Apollo, and Palantir Foundry. Palantir Gotham is used by counterterrorism analysts in the U.S. intelligence community and Department of Defense. In the past, it was used by fraud investigators and cyber analysts. Palantir Apollo helps with contiguous integration and delivery across different environments and is authorized for national security systems by the U.S. Department of Defense. Palantir Foundry is used by corporate clients like Morgan Stanley and Airbus. Initially, Palantir served federal agencies, but has expanded to state, local governments, and private companies in finance and healthcare. Palantir is one of four major tech companies that started to help the NHS with COVID-19 efforts by using its software, the Palantir Foundry. By April 2020, other countries had also started using Palantir technology to track and manage the COVID-19 virus. This technological company also developed the software that was used for the distribution of vaccines in the United States. In August 2020, Palantir moved its headquarters to Denver, Colorado, and got a $44.4 million contract four months later from the United States Food and Drug Administration. This single contract led to a 21% increase in its shares. Let's dive into the details about Palantir's major accomplishments, highlighting its significance and how it has contributed to making the technological world a more precise place. Palantir Metropolis, which was previously known as Palantir Finance, is software that was designed to organize data, manage information, and perform complex mathematical analysis. It had the ability to connect to different types of data, whether commercial, private, or public, to identify connections, patterns, and unusual occurrences, which included making predictions about future events. This technology can be utilized in the finance world as well as in the military realm. With the help of Palantir engineers Peter Cavicia III at J.P. Morgan made use of the Metropolis technology to monitor and observe his employees' communications and mood. If an employee shows any sign of being unhappy, the system will alert the team responsible for dealing with internal threats, prompting them to take action. The team would then go ahead and investigate the issue, and they might even go as far as conducting surveillance outside of work hours. Metropolis would also look through various sources like emails, downloaded files, internal browsing history, and GPS locations from company-owned smartphones, as well as transcripts of phone calls that were made. All this is done to analyze this information for specific words, phrases, or behavioral patterns. In 2013, Cavicia shared this information with the CEO of First Data Corporation, Frank Bisignano. Now to the next innovation on the list, Palantir Apollo. It is a system that ensures that Palantir Gotham and Foundry are continuously updated and deployed, 
This technology was created because customers sometimes make use of different cloud platforms, and Apollo software works to manage the changes and updates to those platforms. With a microservice setup, this technology enables Palantir to offer software as a service instead of just providing consulting services. The last on this list is the Palantir Foundry. This software gained popularity in the healthcare sector because it was used in the National COVID Cohort Collaborative, which helped in analyzing electronic health records from across the US to produce scientific papers. The NHS in England made use of this software during the COVID-19 pandemic to manage the vaccination program. However, in June 2021, Foxglove, a technology justice nonprofit, criticized Palantir for its past contracts causing harm. Clive Lewis supported the criticism by stating that Palantir had a negative track record. Nevertheless, these claims were without substantial proof and faded with time. In November 2023, NHS England awarded Palantir a £300 million contract for a data platform, but this decision faced criticism from medical and cybersecurity professionals. The United States Army's Titan System and its importance. If you're wondering what the Titan System is all about, well, gather around as we delve into the details of what it is and why it is regarded as extremely important. The Titan is an acronym for Tactical Intelligence Targeting Access Node. Now, the Titan system is a ground station that is used to find, target, and monitor threats to assist in long-range precision targeting. What this simply means is that the Titan system is used to bolster the defense system of the United States and make it ahead of the target. The Titan system is important for accurate and precise long-distance firing quickly sorting through the large amounts of sensor data to locate and monitor potential threats. It also helps to gather information from various sensors in space, at high altitudes, in the air, and even on the ground. After this, it delivers important intelligence directly to mission commanders. Initially established in 1966, the company started by making tools but later expanded and became the number one provider of specialized test and assembly systems. These systems are extremely effective in acquiring accurate measurements, gauging, and collecting important data. It helps to make quick decisions by cutting down on the time it takes for data from sensors to reach the shooter, and also provides actionable data within seconds. It also uses automated features to direct sensors, receive, and analyze the data that it receives. This system uses various types of data to efficiently share targeting information with Titan operators to help them make immediate decisions on what to do next. To make this system better, both Palantir and Raytheon will develop prototypes of Titan based on what the soldiers need and it will be tested and improved based on their feedback. These prototypes will be tested and examined in a final demonstration, and after that, the Army will choose one company they prefer to develop all Titan prototypes and versions that will be created in the future by adding new and important technologies and getting them ready for production and use in the field. This competition is a result of the previous year's efforts to modernize the DCGSA ground station. During this process, Palantir and Raytheon created computer system designs, and their designs were evaluated through a critical review and technical demonstration that took place in late 2021. During the ground station modernization, over 140 military intelligence analysts, who will be part of Titan's future operators, also participated in the feedback sessions to improve the workflows and interfaces and ensure that the Titan system meets the needs of the ground forces in multi-domain operations. Palantir and Northrop Grumman's collaboration. The United States has made a big step in the right direction by contracting with Palantir Technologies to create the Tactical Intelligence Targeting Access Node System. This project is quite expensive and costs about $178.4 million. This marks an important endeavor in modernizing the Army's effort. This technology company's duty is to develop about 10 Titan prototypes as part of this initiative. This new ground system is an attempt to link military groups with sensors at high altitudes and in space. This would give the soldiers important targeting information while they are out in the field. Palantir's senior vice president for defense, Bryant Chong, laid emphasis on how important the contract is, not only to his company, but also to the U.S. Army. This new contract has set the stage for collaborative work between the Pentagon and other renowned software companies. 
To make this project very successful, this software company has teamed up with Northrop Grumman, a weapon company, and other well-known companies like Andorra Industries, Pacific Defense, Strategic Technology Consulting, and Worldwide Technology. Northrop Grumman will be an important asset that will help in refining the design of shelters for both advanced and basic Titan vehicles. Their experience and expertise would come in handy in creating complex ground systems that can be deployed in distant areas. The company will also ensure that the 10 Titan prototypes are ready for production and can be scaled up as needed for the program. The collaboration between Palantir and Northrop Grumman is a testament to the United States Army's interest in using advanced technologies like artificial intelligence and advanced machines to improve the ability and precision needed to identify and locate targets. This project is very important and unique because it focuses on using software to help soldiers make better decisions on the battlefield and even understand the type of threat that they are dealing with. This would also serve as a major improvement in warfare by giving soldiers enough time to spot, understand, and react before the impending threat is close enough to cause any damage. Stay tuned for updates on this groundbreaking partnership and the impact it will have on the future of military operations. Thanks for watching. What collaboration would you like to see in the future? What do you think of the Army's Titan system? Share your thoughts in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more industry news and updates.